I love it right here and in today's video on farming simulator 22 we're gonna be looking at how much difference does the repair and or damage on your equipment make for yields on your harvest uh, in the comment section on my videos I mean, I keep getting yelled at for not repairing my equipment and how much yield I am losing as a result thereof so, we're going to be putting that to the test here today, We got two exact same combines, both uh, John Deere X9-1100s here. Uh, we got one combine that is absolutely wasted, both the header and the combine, by the way. So, they're both uh, in desperate need of repair. And then we also have a completely brand spanking new John Deere combine here. You can see the repair, it's uh, as good as it gets. Drove it off a lot, that's the only thing we've done with that combine. And then just to show you folks here as well, if we go to, oh, uh, let's see let's see if I can find the right screen here. Where's our equipment? There we go. Yes, both of the John Deere HD50 and the John Deere X9-1100 are at uh, 1%. So basically as low as it gets. Uh, we have one field heaven that should be 100% bonus yield. So the yield bonus is 100% here, fertilized and plowed and limed and... Uh, you, you folks know the list. So anyway, we're going to start by harvesting with the good combine. Everyone, so we'll get our good combine yield. And then we'll uh, redo the field again, everyone, and see what's, what kind of yield we get with the broken down combine. Because, uh, again, at least from the comments I've gotten in my videos, everyone, apparently I need to repair my equipment. Because apparently I'm losing out on all kinds of yield here. So let's uh, let's see once what uh, happens here, everyone. Um, kind of curious to see once myself. Um, I don't think the uh, equipment damage makes a difference on the yield one, but I could be wrong on that. And then if I am wrong on that, everyone, uh, we're going to maybe uh, do some further testing just to see once, like, what percentage, like, okay, if the equipment's down to 25%, how much does that affect you? We'll, we'll test this further here if we need to. But, uh, first, everyone, we'll get a harvest here with a good combine. And, uh, again, for those of you who have seen my testing up until this point here so far, on a field like this here with 100% bonus yield, we should be looking at about 4,010. I'm not expecting this to uh, change here a whole lot, everyone. Should be 4,010 here for this uh, field. That's what I've gotten off this field in the past. Uh, in case you folks can't tell, I've harvested this field a few times now. So, uh, yes, yes. Just a few times. I've also planted it just a few times now. Getting uh, quite uh, quite familiar and uh, fairly quick at uh, turning this field around here, everyone. Uh, getting the plows and the mulcher and the roller and the planting and pretty much just everything going across the field here at once. And I'm trying to be very consistent. I want to make sure I do the same process every time. And yes, everyone, I realize I don't necessarily have to do some of the steps I'm doing. I'm just simply doing them for consistency's sake and to make sure we're kind of like... We're at seed bed. We've plowed the field so there's no weeds. Uh, we've got lime on the field, even though it doesn't maybe necessarily need it. We've got you know, fertile. Yeah, just making sure everything is as good as it hopefully gets as far as yield goes. Okay, so after the first two passes, we're looking at 3,202. We hit that magical 4,010 we typically get on the field. We'll find out here. Give or take, you know, a couple liters. Should be, like I said, right around 4,010. And then, like I said, once we're done, we'll uh, reset here, come back, and we'll harvest with the broken down combine. I don't know, place your bets, folks. What do you think? Broken con, broken down combine. What will the yield be? And there we go on that. Wow. Spot on, everyone. Spot on. 4,010. Wow, that yield sure does not uh, change much once you uh, make sure you really uh, do a good job on the uh, field, making sure you get every last little spot and stuff like that. So 4,010 on the uh, good, brand new, off-the-lot combine. Okay, everyone, we'll be back here, and we'll see what's what the broken-down combine gets. Okay, we're back, everyone. This time we're going to harvest with the broken down combine. So, again, I'm going to feel the canola here. A 100% yield bonus. So let's see once with the broken down combine. And by the way, I went in and double checked to see once if I could uh, maybe break this combine any further. Just to, it was sitting at 1%. Of them. Let's see once. Can we get that even worse yet? So, a little bit of work, everyone. We got it down to zero. And wow, is that combine not worth much once it's down to 0%, eh? Uh, so, yes. Uh, zero percent as far as the repair on this combine goes, everyone. 
Zero percent. So this combine's as broken, at, at least I think it's as broke as, as it can get, right? Well, let's uh, fire the combine up, see what we get for yield, everyone. So again, good combine, uh, brand new off the lot of one is getting us a yield of 4,010. 4,010. And again, this field, that one is 100% yield bonus. We'll see once what we get off this here. Uh, first thing I noticed right off the bat, everyone. Oh, and yeah, I forgot to set my game settings 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, first thing I noticed was obviously we're not going very fast. That's probably the biggest uh, biggest thing you're going to notice, everyone. Not getting much for speed out of it. Okay, so first pass done, 928. It's not looking uh, particularly good for the yield here, I mean, I'll have to say that. It's not looking particularly good. I mean, first pass, I mean, we didn't even get 1,000 liters, and we only end up with two full passes plus... Uh, I don't know, so it might be about two-thirds of pass on the uh, third one there. So about uh, two and two-thirds passes on this uh, field. Yeah, we're about one and a half done here, 1,500 liters. Be very curious, I mean, if we get a different number, uh, again, like I said, I mean, we're going to maybe have to go back and test this just to see once what, okay, it, like if this combine is about 50% of one, what kind of yield do we get? Is it a linear percentage drop as the damage on the combine increases or is it just uh, significantly drop off at some point say you know okay once the combine gets down to 25 percent that's when you start seeing the drop off so we're gonna we're gonna test this further i wonder if we see a difference which pretty sure we're gonna see a difference here because we're down to 1921 this field is again 100 percent yield bonus having we should see 4010 4010 so it looks like all you folks in the comments might have been right i need to make sure i repair my equipment otherwise we are we are seriously losing out on yield here from the looks of it. Again, we've got just a little bit more to go here yet, everyone. Let's see what's what we get, but we're only at uh, 2,000. Doesn't look like we're going to get much more, maybe 2,500, 2,700 maybe, somewhere in there. That, everyone, is really significant difference. That is a difference. Uh, a difference I was definitely not expecting, by the way. Okay, oh, not even 2,000. We're not even going to get 2,500. Wow. So 2,400. Looks like 2,406. Okay, then. Uh, I'm going to go up a percentage calculator here, man, Evan, and let's uh, figure out what that uh, percentage of loss is. And some uh, quick calculations later, everyone. That is a 40% 40% loss, Evan. Not quite half, but almost half the yield we should get. So, okay, looks like everyone in the comments was very much correct. Uh, when it comes to repairing your equipment, everyone, make sure you repair your equipment. Oh my goodness, that is a uh, that one is a significant change. Not the uh, not a change I was expecting to see either, and at least not by that much anyway. So that begs the question, everyone: uh, If we harvest this field at like 50% yield, what are we going to get? Let's uh. We'll be back, everyone. We're going to test this further. Okay, everyone, and we're back here again. This time the uh, combine is 50% worn here. So going to back to look at the screen. Where did our combine? There they are. Uh, the John Deere HD50 and John Deere X9. Uh, they're both 107 months old and at 50% wear. Let's see what kind of yield we get on this, everyone. Uh, if we get a yield difference or not. Um, if it is still like the 4,010, everyone will maybe uh, drop this down again. Just to see once at what percentage uh, we do start losing yield. I've got a suspicion. I mean, maybe once we like hit the red numbers, maybe that's when you start losing yield. I don't know. We're going to find out here. And right away, I noticed we're going a little bit faster here to be expected. Uh, I believe it's supposed to be 10 kilometers per hour. Again, I'm, I'm more familiar with the miles per hour. 
So I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 10 kilometers per hour. Should be 6 miles per hour if we had it in miles per hour here. Oh, self, I need to, uh, need to fix that here. Uh, for those of you following along in my single player series, I've had lots of game crashes. And as a result, I've been trying to troubleshoot that. And uh, one of my troubleshooting methods was to reinstall the game. And as such, lost all the normal settings I typically had. So I need to go back and uh, reset some of those from the looks of it. Okay, so we're looking at almost 1,500 there. Uh, if we get another 1,500 on this pass, that one, 1,000 on the next one. Looks like we're probably going to be looking at really close to that 4,010, if not the 4,010. Going to be close, that one. If 50% uh, everyone does not result in a yield loss, that one, I'm going to drop this down to 25%. I uh, will see if we get a loss at 25%, and if we do what and how much. Uh, if we still don't get it at 25%, everyone, I believe it's at after 20 or is it 10%? I forget what number I'm on before this turns red. Somewhere in that area, everyone. We'll, we'll try it at that and see what, uh, what kind of numbers we start getting. Again, I'm kind of curious if it's a linear loss dependent on the repair state of the combine or if it's just a, okay, you're now, your combine reaches 10% and you automatically lose 40% yield. I, I don't know, everyone. We're going to find out, hopefully. And I'll have to say, again, I'm very, very surprised by these results. I was not expecting to see that much of a difference. Okay, so I don't think we're quite going to get the 4,010 here, everyone. No, we are definitely not going to. So we're going to have a loss here, everyone. We are going to have a loss. I'm kind of surprised by that. It seems a little ridiculous to me, if you ask me, I one. But okay, so we're looking at three thousand five forty-eight. So at a fifty percent, everyone, three thousand five hundred forty-eight. So I'm going to type that in here. I'm at three thousand five forty-eight. Hit the calculate. Uh, that is an 11%, 11.5% yield loss, everyone. So 11.5% yield loss at 50%. Hmm, that's interesting. I, mean, I guess we could keep, uh, I don't know, how many more harvests do we want to do? Still thinking, maybe we should bump it up. I'm curious about like 75%. I might try one at 75%, then we'll also try one at 25%. I think we're going to try that. So we'll be back, everyone. Okay, I well just uh, finished harvest here with a combine at 25%. So again, in the shop here, everyone, we're looking at 25% uh, here. And we got a yield of 2,975. 2,975. And that is a, let's see once here, that is a minus 25%. So minus 25% on shield. I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty painful. Okay, one more test, and we're going to go back and uh, try 75% here, and we'll see what the 75% gives us. Okay, one fourth and uh, final harvest here. This time we're at 75% uh, on the combine. Looks like we're getting a halfway decent yield there, so again, 75%. We're almost, oh, I think we're going to get 4,010 here, but we're getting real close anyway. 4,010 4, of one. Okay, so at 75% of one, there is no yield loss. That is rather interesting. So 4,010, no yield loss. That begs the question, I mean, at what percentage do we start seeing yield loss then? And I could keep testing the numbers, you one. Uh, if folks want to see that, let me know. Maybe I will we'll do some more of this. But for now, I, mean, I think that's going to do it for this uh, video here. Uh, so again, I mean, the numbers here at 100%. So the combine's perfectly good. Uh, we're seeing a yield of 4,010. Uh, the combine at 75%, we're seeing a yield of 4,010. So again, 100% yield essentially, right? 100% combine, 100% yield. 75% still 100% yield. Uh, once we hit 50%, so 50% on the combine, we're down almost 500 liters or 11%. We've lost 11% yield. Uh, when the combine drops down to 25%, We've lost, uh, let's see, let's see, that is a little over a thousand, a little over a thousand liters for a, let's see, did I, that was a 25%, minus 25% yield. So if the combine is 25%, you're losing 25% yield on your field. 
and then from 25 down to 0% everyone you lose another 500 so basically I have an almost 1600 1600 liters lost if your combine is 0% on this field that is a minus 40% yield loss minus 40% of them so lesson learned there one make sure you repair your combine wow does that make a difference so uh for anyone uh yeah when it comes to harvest everyone double check your combine make sure it is up for repair i am still curious seven uh between 75 and 50 percent what uh where it starts uh diminishing there but somewhere between 75 and 50 percent of one that's where you start seeing a pretty severe loss so with that i hope you folks enjoyed this video I definitely was not expecting these results at all, uh, especially those drastic of results. So, yeah, curious to see your folks' comments on this one. Uh, suffice to say, I definitely do not agree with the results in this. Uh, I think Giants really uh, foobarred this one up, if you ask me. But, uh, I don't know, you folks let me know what you think. So, with that, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down there. And, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.